they just got some very bad news. The worst jobs report in six and a half years, okay? I don't know if you saw that, 38,000 jobs. It's going the wrong way, folks. They've been kidding themselves. They're playing games. It's going the wrong way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the big show. We're joined right now by one of my favorite people, Larry Kudlow, CNBC senior contributor, host of the Larry Kudlow Radio Show, Saturdays on Cumulus Radio. Check your local listings, as they say. Hello, sir. Hello, Steve. Thank you. All right, so listen, uh, I'm watching uh, CNBC early this morning, and I thought, I thought my ears were deceiving me. 38,000 jobs created in the month of May. Uh, we're talking about uh, the unemployment rate at the same time drops to 4.7%. What's wrong with both of those pictures and the other picture that it, 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 it brings about? <laughs> well, look, at, um, pretty much everybody seems to be dismissing the 38,000 as a sort of statistical glitch or seasonal glitch or some kind of glitch. But I gotta tell you, whatever it is, and may be revised later, the fact is, if you smooth it out, look at three-month moving averages. That's the best way. Job gains have been falling since December. It's been five months now. And the only reason the unemployment rate fell uh, a bit is because um, 458,000 people left the labor force. Incidentally, 362,000 left it last month. So it's not a pretty picture. And I just want to say that I think we are in a mild business recession. Now, it's not a whole economy recession, because consumers are still spending some, and uh, housing is okay. But I gotta tell you, business recessions are always the leading indicator. What we're seeing is profits falling now um, for over a year, business investment falling for over a year, uh, the ISMs are flat below year ago levels. Factory orders are down. In other words, the business side is in a recession. And if that continues, it's going to spread. You're going to continue to have slow job gains, if any, lousy income, and poor consumer spending. So I'd watch that. Economists think consumers are 70% of the economy. If you measure it right, they are not. Uh, businesses are 50% of the economy, and that's why you got to watch that. And profits in particular, and I'll end on this, profits are the mother's milk of stocks and the lifeblood of the economy. So the stock market has been flat for a year. That's another piece of evidence that business is slowing a lot. What about the theory? Uh, and, and I, I mean, I, it was early in the morning for me. I may have not have heard it uh, exactly correctly, but that uh, the, the numbers are, are being kept down now, the jobs numbers. And as we get closer to the election, like it'll be a November surprise kind of thing, uh, the jobs numbers will go way, way up and uh, it'll be good for Hillary. Is there, do you put that past the government? No, no. Look, the numbers are the numbers. They come out of the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Um, they use models. The models are not <laughs> always accurate. Revisions come later. But the kind of conspiracy, the kind of political conspiracy, the kind of Hillary political conspiracy yeah. you're describing, no way. Believe okay. me. All right. Let me ask you about that. I want you to hear something Hillary had to say uh, about the horrific violence that took place uh, in San Jose after Trump's uh, uh, rally yesterday, which was just frightening to watch. No cops around, people walking out of the arena, getting beaten up and, and, and attacked and cornered and having things thrown at them and punched and bleeding. Uh, and, and here's what Hillary, when asked about it today on CNN, here's what she said. I condemn all violence in our political uh, arena. I condemned it when Donald Trump was inciting it and congratulating people who were engaging in it. I condemn it by those who are uh, taking violent uh, protests to physical assault uh, against Donald Trump. This has to end. He set a very bad example. He created an environment in which it seemed to be um, acceptable. And Trump has lowered the bar. And now, is it a surprise that people who don't like him are stepping over that low bar? I don't think it is. All right. How do you react to that? Uh, Hillary blaming Trump for these outside protesters is just utter nonsense. It's just garbage, okay? Trump is Trump. He has a fabulous following. And a lot of evidence points to the fact that a lot of these protesters are paid. 
And sometimes the evidence suggests that the protesters are paid by unions and by other left-wing interest groups to try to smear Trump. Trump has nothing to do with this. Trump does not incite violence. Trump is sending out a message of change. But I just wonder, I mean, violence is horrible. It looks bad. It is bad. It's just a terrible thing. Blaming it on Trump is utter nonsense. And, and I, do, I do think a lot of these protesters are paid by left-wing groups and unions. I couldn't agree with you more. One more, very quickly. Seems to be a thawing in the relationship between Suzanne Martinez and Trump. Um, she, he said he wants her endorsement. She said, well, you know, he has to address the issues that New Mexico is concerned about, which is a far cry from what she had been saying about him. Do you think it's possible they wind up on a ticket together? Oh, I don't know about that. I, I wouldn't even speculate about a ticket. I just think that it's characteristic of Donald Trump. He wants to work with all Republicans. As you know, he got Paul Ryan's uh, endorsement this past week. I had Speaker Ryan on the radio last week. I talked about issues. That's what we always talk about. And I said, you know, your issues on taxes and uh, trade and spending and energy and growth sound a lot like Donald Trump. And he didn't disagree. And sure enough, a few days later, he endorsed. I'm sure Mr. Trump will reach an accommodation with uh, Governor Martinez, who's a good person. And that's the way politics works, you know. Vice presidents, that's a different game, and I wouldn't even speculate. All right. Well, Larry, I say Larry Kudlow for Secretary of the Treasury anyway. Uh, so we'll have to wait for that. Larry, good to talk to you, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate